everybody. We are back with a special edition of I Got Drink. Drink. And we are sipping on some holiday cocktails mm. from E, Miss Cajun Mommy. Yes, Lord. Um, so we're going to try this out a little different today. And we're going to um, have the ladies edition. Mm -hmm. So y'all ready? Yes. yes. <laughs> you ready, ready to try some new drinks? I am. Absolutely. Let's go. Okay. I love it. When the last time you had a drink? Huh? Uh, <laughs> oh, um, earlier today. <laughs> earlier today. Um, I had mimosas today. Okay, it's brunch. It's it, it was, it was brunch. giving brunch, you know, uh, brunch at home. I had mimosas. Okay, I can't. My eyelash. All right. They need to make some, um, some shades glasses. that have like enough room for like when you have your, your lashes. lashes Cause I can't. It's either one or the other. It's just. But these are some nice shades, though. Idea, y'all better like you yeah. need to flip these. That's mm -hmm. probably what you need to flip or, these. Oh, you know? That and have the cutout. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but mimosas, tequila, and so whatever mimosas, else. Mimosas, tequila, and what else you have? I don't know. Oh, I just I don't know. I just been letting people feed me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've definitely been giving y'all champagne. Y all today. Um, was this your special tequila? Eat? I had, had tequila. tequila. Champagne. So, uh, champagne, tequila. Mm -hmm. A special drink that you can see my cup damn near empty because I licked it. <laughs> that shit was really good. good yeah, good. So, okay, um, yeah. what is your your go-to alcohol? Tequila. I'm a tequila, tequila. girl. Always Me have too. been. Okay. Um, I think I was like on a stretch to be like, oh, I want um, organic liquor. Uh -huh. I know that sounds crazy, but certain tequilas are organic. Oh. Um, so, mm. yeah. Mm. Well, we got like some that. tequila today. You like, um, know. who's your favorite comedian? My favorite <laughs> comedian? What a random question. Oh my God, I can't even, I don't know. Probably yeah. like, Cat Williams sometimes. Cat Williams, okay. Wow. Like Cat Williams things. is stupid, but he, it's like, it's just stupid, funny. Yes. <laughs> Like, Definitely. Oh, it's a vibe. It's, it's just, it's especially when you like load it like a baked potato. What about um Kevin Hart? <laughs> Kevin Hart is funny and stupid too. So I like him. I like. I really like his movies. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, Kevin Hart's movies are, are hilarious. Night yes. class is my favorite. What's agree. your favorite movie? Oh my god! Honestly, the one I can't remember, but it was one where he basically. They were on like their bachelor party. Okay. His friend was about to get married. Oh, I, I think I know what you're talking I about. I can't think of the name of it, but it was um, amazing. Is it the best man? I think so. No, it's not the best no, man. No, no, no. Not, not, I'm not tripping. It's definitely not the best man. Perry. It's, oh man. I know exactly what movie you're All talking about. All I can about. think of is Night School. I don't know. Night School. No. No, I hadn't even seen it Night It was school. definitely <laughs> on Netflix. It's one of those things like you're just scrolling through trying to find something to watch. Mm hmm. Mm. Yes. Was it the one with, uh, it was like his brother or something, like scamming folks? No. 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 Okay. No. Oh my God, I can't think. I'm sorry. It is. I, I can't think of it at all. I don't know. Wait, well, I want to go back to you drinking tequila. What yes. kind of tequila do you like to drink, though? My favorite is probably 1800 Cristalino. Ooh, not the Cristalino. The Cristalino, the 1800 Color. Cristalino is... Why you like that one? <laughs> oh, girl, because you could just you keep know. drinking and drinking and drinking. It's smooth. It doesn't have the afterbite that most tequilas have. Uh -huh. And I have been from... Jose to 1800 to Patron. I do not like Patron. I love Don Julio. Uh -huh. But Don Julio 70 is better than the regular Don Julio. The Don Julio real is the best Don Julio I've ever had, but it's like a $600 bottle. Okay. I didn't buy it, but it was good. <laughs> it's delicious. Like, it was somebody's birthday. I can't remember. It's, it's a vague, you know, memory, but. I only had like two or three shots and I was lit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what did you good know? Alcohol um, usually does. Of course. Kevin Hart has his own tequila. Um, I have heard. Okay. I've heard. We're gonna try it out right now. Okay, ready? let's do it. Yes, we are ready. Kevin Hart's tequila. Tequila. What's the name tequila. of it? Tequila. It's um, um, it's the clear bottle. Mm -hmm. Right that there. One. Yep. It is called. <laughs> All right. Cristalino. So we have Coromino. Coromino. 100% agave. This is the yes. Reposado Cristalino. Right. A Reposado is always you said you smoother. Like crystalline. I do, and I love a Reposado over the <laughs> silver any day. Same. Or the Blanc, whatever they want to call and it. And this one is um, cooked with agave. 
right. which is of course what tequila is made mm -hmm, from. Mm -hmm. Vanilla bean, okay. dark berries, and light spice. So we're gonna okay. see how that tastes. Good. Let's see what the little twang twang So I tried it. It is very smooth. It's smooth. very smooth. Okay. okay, we love to hear that. So um, mocha. Yes. I know you had some junk nights, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I have. So have you ever sent a drunk text that you later regretted? Um, <laughs> yes. Did you follow through with that drunk text? No. You didn't? I'm, I think that I, I get on my, my level mm -hmm. and I send out messages like, what's up? <laughs> I'm coming through. I want to see you. Woo -woo -woo. Like, I miss you. And... Really? Thank you. I will never show. I won't You're respond. Sure. And my excuse is, I was drunk. Asleep. I, I was asleep. I passed <laughs> out. I mean, I mean, I what have. can you say? You, I think ladies really just like we just sent it to um, see if you're gonna respond. Yeah, it's I almost we really it's a satisfaction it. in the response. <laughs> the way you, I don't know, like the way a guy is just like, oh, well, it's it's like, oh if well, respond, I still got it like that, yeah. kinda in a yeah. sense. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just be bullshitting. But but as of lately, like, I just drunk text my man. So you gotta drunk text your man. You gotta have fun with your man. You know, I would drunk text when you're looking yeah. good. Send him five attachments. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, oh ladies, okay. so we're gonna try Heaven's Hearts Tequila. Yes. yes. All right, let's sip it first. Please. We're gonna smell, we're gonna sip. And okay. we can shoot it. It does smell delightful. It smells good. He said vanilla bean, dark berries, a light spice. The spice is on the back end. It's spicy. <laughs> Why so is it finish, spicy? Definitely the finish is spicy. The finish is spicy. Definitely the first spicy. sip, I, I taste the vanilla. <laughs> okay, it is giving sweet in the beginning. It's giving, it's giving spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Are in Louisiana. <laughs> what do we give? Spice. 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 <laughs> you know it's hot. Okay. okay so we right. can shoot it if y'all like. Cheers. 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 I'm gonna sip to the ladies episode. Yes. Yummy. Ooh. Definitely the spice from the after bite. Smooth. It it's went down very lovely. Smooth, but it's it is. Spicy at the finish, yeah, for sure. I want some more caramel. Oh, this is really good. Yeah, you got like a big ass chunk right there. You gonna eat it? Put your tongue in it, yeah. So I made these ladies caramel yes, you can. coated. I have confidence in it. Cups, and then I put Jack Daniels honey and Bailey's, which y'all mm. can find the recipe on the last episode that we did on I Got Drained. And they are really enjoying it, so. Yeah, I wish yeah. I had some more. I got some at the bottom. That's it. Delicious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, my Oh, well. not the finger licking good. Mm. Not his finger licking good. We should have bought out the, um, the whipped cream for this episode. Yes. Yes, definitely. What? Cardi, the Cardi B whipped cream. That part. Where is that? Oh my goodness. Is there somebody behind the stage? <laughs> oh! Yay! Yeah. Yes, wait, you know what? I still have my cocktail. Oh, I'll try it. Okay. Well, we finish <laughs> ours. I know, I'm so sorry. Are you just putting in your mouth? We're just gonna um, put that bar. Okay. Oh, here, open this. Okay. Is it? You gotta pull it? So we got whip shot. Whip my shot. Cardi my Cardi. My Cardi. Mocha. It's my flavor. Oh my God. <laughs> flavor mocha. That was perfect. That's perfect for you. <laughs> that was perfect. So if you have a ladies night, yes. this will be perfect. I think it comes in three different flavors. Um, and it's vanilla, alcohol. mocha, mm -hmm. and caramel. Yeah. And you can check out, like, look at a few episodes back of I Got Drink where we tried it and you can kind of like get our, um, Would you like our opinions on it. Yeah. In my mouth. <laughs> shall Put we it do it? Mouth. Viewers, shall we my do it? In my eyes. Ah. A little mocha for mocha. Mm. <laughs> mm. Tell me about it. Is it good? Me gusta mucho. <laughs> oh, I like it. She loves it a lot. I do. You want something in your mouth? <laughs> Come on. Wow. 
Why not? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Let me see. I'm gonna wipe it off. We're good. How is it? It's, it's delicious, it's really right? Good. It's really good though. It's I definitely taste chocolate. I mean, it's mocha. It's mocha. It's chocolate. It is ultra premium vodka and food. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can't believe it's only 10%. 10% of alcohol? Yeah. That's a lot. It, it is? That's a lot of alcohol in this little can. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're right. <laughs> yeah. And that's to be really whipped good. cream? That's yeah. really good. Oh my God, I want to buy some and use it in that's a bedroom. Really great idea. Go Cardi. Y'all hear that, huh? Oh my god, just imagine in the bedroom and you could play with whipped cream, but it's got liquor in it. Oh, look at the look. It'll definitely enhance the experience. I'm afraid. I can't help it. The alcohol brings it out me the most. <laughs> oh my god. So <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, I have a question. Alcohol, then. So do you ladies find that when you drink certain types of alcohol that you feel Certain types of ways. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't get that. Either huh? I'm either I'm like drunk, drunk or tipsy or not. For me, it feels like it doesn't matter like what I'm drinking. If I'm horny, I'm horny. Like <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> but wait, what about wait, okay, wait, so wait, 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 Oh, different types of drunks. I will agree okay. as far as like how you feel. Okay. As far as and okay. That is kind of the question I'm asking y'all too. But people say like Hennessy, tequila, certain alcohol makes them aggressive yeah. or acts, oh, or yeah. makes them okay. feel like, a, like more, the brown will make it clown yeah, or brown the gin will make down, it sin. That part. White gets you hype. Yeah. yeah. I don't feel, I I don't feel, feel like, those things. Like, no, I can't relate no. to that. If I go to drinking, I'm drinking for a certain, for a reason. And yeah. Definitely. It's not... You know, it's to be not sober. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but like when I'm drinking wine, mm -hmm. I feel a little more um, like a body, like a almost body like a high, relaxed. but you yeah, like you say relaxed. Like, that's you a, know, like, that's a good literally way to, my body to feels it. relaxed when I'm drinking like alcohol. I feel more like up. Lit. Yeah. yeah, you know, like I find Time that different. Yeah. Well, I drink. I drink red But wine. wait, my sis said something about her drinking something you you feeling. A lot more sexually aroused. What you say? I was saying like anything. Like okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't. I don't get the whole white brown gets you now hype. Brown white with white gets you hype. Mm -hmm. You have to, You like would that. have to go through phases. I think I just when I drink. I mean, it doesn't matter what I'm drinking. Like at the end of the night, like I'm You're trying lit. to get with my man. I like, agree. No That's the goal. What. I mean, but alcohol sexually arouses you, period. Yeah. It's scientifically shown. It doesn't shown. matter like, what, what it is. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. Alcohol, yeah. period, is going to make you hot and ready. <laughs> yeah. Trying to try Little something Like Krispy Kreme donuts, huh? The light, on, the light is on, baby. Hot and ready. The light is on. <laughs> For me, like, I can definitely tell the difference between, like, a, a, a wine a uh, tipsy drunk buzz yeah. feeling. I like red wine. Yeah. I don't do like the red sweet. I'm more of like a red blend okay. or a cab. Mm -hmm. But when I do tequila, I think the only difference is it comes quicker. Yeah. You know, if I'm the doing tequila, yes. If I'm doing tequila, my buzz, I'm lit faster. Yeah. I'm drinking wine. It's more of a relax, and I feel sexy. I don't know. Maybe just be <laughs> tequila. Like feel sexy. Tequila, tequila. like. I can drink wine and tequila in the same mm -hmm. night. I used to be able to drink wine and Hennessy at the same time. But by the end of the night, <laughs> that sounds like a bad I black time. out. That sounds yeah, like a bad time. You don't it's a black great out. bad time, though. Um, I'm, let me tell you something. Everybody's like, don't mix liquor, don't mix liquor. For me, I drink tequila. I feel like tequila is universal. You can drink tequila with anything. Yeah. Uh, um, I can. Uh, and when you're mixing, <laughs> and you can drink tequila anytime. And when you're mixing, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're the type of person who likes to mix, who doesn't yeah. really like to taste their alcohol, then sure, you can mix that shit I with like anything. mixing. I'm not a straight shooter. <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely different types of alcohol that are mm -hmm. supposed to be enjoyed kind of like by themselves mm -hmm. and in a cocktail, right? And yes. when you have a cocktail, it's different ingredients yeah. or multiple ingredients. Yeah. So like vodka, yeah. vodka is supposed to be 
odorless and tasteless. Oh my God, you know, disgusting. it's definitely <laughs> ethanol that you're tasting. It's the alcohol that you yeah. take that you will taste. All my friends love Tito's, but you won't taste agave. You won't not taste at all like uh, barley or wheat. You know, yeah. like distinctive things. Okay, like it's supposed to be odor odorless and tasteless. Yeah, so it mixes well with basically Just about anything. anything. Exactly. So it's a point with the liquors. And yeah. I, I, I totally so, understand. It's the whole science. Okay. Yeah. I drink anything. <laughs> That's my problem. I would drink Hennessy. I would. I would drink tequila. My, but my preference is tequila. And Taylor Port. I what about with Taylor? I'm gonna tell y'all something. Y'all, y'all listen. Taylor Port was a cooking listen. alcohol. No, it's not. Drinking it. It's not. A, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Time out. Time out. It's not wine? a sherry. It's not a sherry. I haven't had it. Taylor Port is not a sherry to I've me. I've seen the bottle. I'm gonna tell you something. It's a huge bottle. Next time you see it, buy. No, that's not I've the only bottle they, they got. And I can't find it. Measure. Where you yeah. find it? I can't find it. Albertsons, Rouse's. I went to Albertsons. It's really bad. Which Albertsons? But I thought it was a cooking wine. That's okay. Nice. I'm just going to tell y'all this right here. Any though. wine can be a cooking wine. <laughs> this is true, too. That's but true. But wait, I need to know more Taylor about Port, this Taylor bro. So, let me just a little story right quick. Quick story. Quick and direct. All right. I went out, tsunami, mm -hmm. had a bottle of sake. Okay. Okay. And we ate some sushi rolls or whatever. Miso soup, whatever we ate. Left, went to a friend's house. All they had was Taylor Port. You know, I like tequila, but all they had was Taylor Port. So guess what? We drank Taylor Port. <laughs> Me and my friend rolled on the ground for our hours wrestling. Not rolled on the ground. It was wrestling. so much fun, though. We're aggressive. Just saying twister? <laughs> Twisting each other. I was yanking her hair. I was like, bitch. <laughs> oh, so Taylor Port. We were like that. Teleport have you like lit to the point where you want to do crazy whatever shit. you want to do. <laughs> I can't explain it. Like, so that was that time. And then the next time I drank Teleport, I was just horny all over my man, acting crazy. I think it just depends. Like, no matter like what you drink, if you're around your friends, you're going to get more crazy or start doing crazier things. If you're around Definitely your man, the environment you're gonna counts. You're going to be like horny. If okay, you're yeah. around your family, oh. you're just going to go to sleep. But my man wasn't nowhere around when I was getting lit off that Taylor Port. I literally went home with friend. it on my mind. But she was with your friends rolling I around was. the ground. So I, you, but, I mean, we was wrestling, kind of fight. She but if the your fight. man was there, it would have made you like, let's do it. If I'd have been like, leave me alone and I'm going to pounce on him like a feral cat. <laughs> I would have been like, run. Like. Okay, so Taylor Port makes you... Taylor Port have you, however... Get you if y'all ever see the video, Get you in your feelings. The videos, they be like, Taylor Port, oh my God, I'm trying to Taylor Port out. And they be fucked up. Yes, it, it gets you fucked up. And it's up. recent that I've seen like yeah. the to, whole hype around it. Yeah. You know? Me too, but it's been so, out forever. Yeah, okay. Oh my God. I'm so is it like it. a sweet red it's wine? A, it's like a sweet red, but you can still taste the sh the the strength in it. It's like thirteen <laughs> percent. So that hell was strong. Oh my god, yeah. Got it's, it. it's like thirteen percent alcohol. Kind of like. Okay. So it gets you in your feelings like brandy. Yes, three like glasses, brandy. three full glasses of it, and you on your level. Okay. All right. Teleport. <laughs> I might have to check it out. Teleport. I'm going to re up Do on you. Do we have you. any other? Alcohol we to do. Try. So we actually oh. have this one right here. Oh, this one? Perfect. What is that? Torres. Torres. And what is Torres? What is it? Torres. So this looks like um, a tequila. Mm -hmm. uh, no tequila. It's not a tequila. No. It says a Reserva Imperial Brand Metado Solera. <laughs> It is. It's definitely a brandy. It's a brandy. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a brandy. brandy. <laughs> I was trying to be sweet. I was like, get you in your feelings. Be like brandy, you know, like her songs. What about <laughs> us? <laughs> Things that okay. you say. So we're going to try this Taurus 10. And it is a brandy. It is very smooth. Um, I know a lot of brandies are kind of strong, know. like E and J and all that. Oh my goodness! This oh, one, Irk oh, and oh, Jerk. Time out. Who be drinking Irk and Jerk? I ain't had uh, e I know J one person. The old heads. So they do. Yes. That's exactly who be drinking. But I know they would. Yeah, they'll drink it if they ain't got nothing else to drink. <laughs> if it's the last thing at the party, yeah, I might try. It. Oh, so this is the world's most recognized. Mm. Spanish brandy, mm. perfectly balanced to be enjoyed mm -hmm. straight or mixed. 
Mm. Okay, so we're gonna give it a try. All right, let's I'm go. I'm excited. I like the bottle. I've had a brandy right? on the bottom. It's a pretty nice bottle with the gold I like yellow the label. And then uh, the top nice is top. really cute as well. Some gentleman is on the top. Something German? Oh, uh, some a guy. German. I got the hiccups, y'all. What does that uh -oh. mean? She got the hiccups. You know what Holla the cure for that is. Uh, what is it? Bend them over. Yes. Oh, shit. Wait, bend over? <laughs> you bend over and you drink. This is a cure for hiccups. A lot of some people cannot bend over and literally like put their head between their legs. But if you like straddle your legs, you bend over, legs or over. put some water in your mouth, hold it in your mouth, toes. bend your head over. <laughs> That's too much. I'm gonna just. It's take not my hard hiccups. because like you'll be drinking water trying to get rid of them. Why? But Why can't you just hold my breath? Why can't I just hold the water, the water in your mouth <laughs> and bend your head over and we swallow the water upside down you, and backwards. Timberland. When and you swallow for our it, special guest, mocha. If you swallow that water with your head between I your legs, I hold my breath and they're gone. Simple. If it come back, guess what? <laughs> what? You shit out of luck because I'm gonna get on your ass. <laughs> okay, ladies. Okay. So we are gonna smell and we're gonna sip <laughs> and then we're gonna shoot. You be pouring these big ass shots. Though. They're not. I have lines in these cups. Y'all see this? Y'all see this shot in here? They can't see it. Just drink it. <laughs> Just drink it. Did you Cheers. You drunk it? No, I taste oh, it. Cheers. You taste oh, it. Cheers. Okay, taste. Oh, you, she We're supposed to taste it. I already tasted it though. Oh, that's good. Oh damn. Drink it. You know what this reminds me of? Freaking um The finish is smooth. Come Very on. smooth finish. Oh no Jager. bite. It's definitely not Jager. Jager. I this cannot smell Jager. This reminds me of Jager though. Like, it's not giving Jager for me. I don't know whether it's like a... Maybe it's a smell. It smells a little... Um, licorice -y. It smells a little Something strong. Like, that. like a... a bo <laughs> along the lines of licorice <laughs> to me. But that's me. I'm, Oh I'm kind of tequila biased anyway, so. I am tequila biased as well, my <laughs> girl. I can't even lie to you. Tequila is my girl. Yes, tequila give me right every time. <laughs> That's that shit's strong. It is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um, it isn't that strong. I only took like a little shot the last. Mm mm. Mm hmm. And so, like, whenever you're tasting alcohol, like you, the flavor profile develops. You know. Like from the start to yeah. the finish, but as you like widen your palate, though. Yeah, to, in order to taste certain ingredients, mm -hmm. you know, when you drink more or whenever you just notice more about yeah. the alcohol, you basically widen your palate because you're looking for certain things to mm -hmm. taste into it. And I would say that the start and the finish for this Man, is much that's, different. That's that's good. Like, and it's good. It's I like that. Yeah. I um, like that. I'm not even a brandy drinker. Like Me either, but that, that is... Tequila is our girl, so... Yes. <laughs> Go tequila. Go okay. tequila. Go I gotta tequila. name a friend. Man. I gotta find a friend named Tequila. Tequila. Real. Tequila. I have a friend named Margarita. Really? That's her real name? Margarita. Damn. <laughs> That's what she introduced herself as. Hey Margaret, how you doing? Hey, Sada Ron Rimmer. Hey, Sada Ron Rimmer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm still tripping over the. That whip shot is so good. I know. So, I need another one. I love your nails, by the way, girl. Thank oh. you. Oh. Huh? Your nails. Oh. Your nails are cute too. You yeah. know what goes great on? I did it myself. Like, um, whipped cream, like cherries. Go <laughs> <great. laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Wait. Are you talking about those cherries you have right here? Yeah. Because those know? are special cherries, right? Yeah. Uh huh. But they, but cherries go great on top of whipped cream, though, right? Yeah, they do. So, Usually they do. Yeah. Are we going to try out these cherries? We're going to try some cherries. Yes. All right. You excited? Yes. yes. No. Okay. I've already had one. I'm wet. I was like, <laughs> them cherries going to be like my downfall. No, we're not going to prey on that. Me, I mean, I'm not, but God. Damn, like the cherries is strong. Excuse me, love. I can't see no nips. Here you are, my love. I'm trying to make sure. Oh, look. 
I'm a little scared because I heard that these sherries were special and they have the a very strong preservative, right? Um, so these are gonna be the they're from Gatlinburg and they are moonshine cherries. So they're cherries basically soaked in moonshine from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Okay. Um, they're best served chilled. So they're, it's cold in here, guys. So they're chilled already. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, spirits is still with, from corn with natural and artificial flavors and certified color added. Real cherries. Oh, they may have pits to them. So when y'all swallow, you know. Just, just swallow the whole nut. Know, just swallow the whole nut that's inside. Cherry? <laughs> cherry. cherry. Oh. Swallow the cherry is what they meant to say. But the, the pit is a nut though, right? In a chair? I think is that a nut? True. Oh, I have to say true. Swallow Wait, on. can we get some moonshine in this? No, 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 no. How about not? <laughs> Mocha and I would like some moonshine. All right. Pour a little moonshine in there with the cherries. That is not a little. <laughs> how you gonna? <laughs> You talk about somebody pouring heavy and look at oh my god! Wow, did you do that? What on the purpose? hell? She did that on purpose. She filled up my entire <laughs> glass. Oh my goodness! That's fine. I'm appalled. That's a no shot to be pouring us, guys. Oh, it was revenge. That was <laughs> a revenge pour. Every that was time. a revenge pour. A revenge pour. Every time she I mean, pours these humongous shots. <laughs> that was really big. That was her big. I mean. She can okay. handle it. I can't even find the cherry anymore, but it's all right. <laughs> so we're gonna cheers to cheers the moonshine to cherries. The moonshine you can pour me some of your juice in here. Oh, perfect. Yes. All right. <laughs> Just all right, take let's it. Let's try it. Oh, so the the juice that the cherries are in it is not bad. It's, but the fucking. Cherry? Bruh. Wait, I haven't gotten there. My bad. <coughs> Ooh, great, guys. Uh huh. Spicy. Why is it spicy? <laughs> okay. Chase was the chocolate. juice was good, though. The juice wasn't, wasn't strong at all. But the, the cherry, cherry, that's so strong. The cherry is disgusting. And I'm not going to say it's disgusting. Oh my god, I have a problem. You guys. I would eat it on top of like a milkshake or like cherry. a sundae or something like that. Joe, I got a pee pee. That's not bad. <laughs> What's, What's up, everybody? We're on the set of I Got Drink TV. It's your girl T10. And it's your girl E. And we are rocking our new sponsor merchants. Ain't no going back. Because we're not going back. The only way is up and forward. That's it, period. <laughs> yes, you can follow them on IG at Ain't No Going Back. And you can follow the antidote. You can follow us as well at XOXO underscore you are as truly. And on Instagram at Cajun Mom. So like, subscribe, follow us on all the streaming platforms, all the social media platforms, and tune in for this next episode. Bye. Look, Louisiana Daiquiri Factory, you can follow me at LA underscore Daiquiri Factory. And look, this is how we rolling with it. I'm making daiquiris with premium alcohol. You see this up? That's what I'm making my daggers with. This is apple cognac. We make this with V Long. Yo, this shit fire. We make a tropical passion with this new Syrah. We got a um, green apple. That's his favorite. It's my favorite, y'all. Peach Douce, strawberry Hennessy, plenty of different flavors. Just follow me at Louisiana Dagger Factory. So you can call me, DM me, or text me, and I'm pulling up. Certified. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Those are brown. They sweet, they cherry, but they strong as they hell. Strong. <laughs> so you like eating those cherries?
Moonshine cherries. Man, moonshine. I like eating them cherries. I eat cherries all day long if I want to, but not these different types of cherries. <laughs> you gotta take these in doses. Yes, these cherries is <laughs> another. Another type. breed, another for real. Breed. Man, I don't even really drink moonshine. Like, I've never had moonshine before. So you this get that shit from a corner store in a no. country. Oh, well, yes, like yes. They like an apple pie <laughs> moonshine that is, tastes just like an apple pie. That's how I got turned on the moonshine when I went to Gatlinburg. The fact that you had to say that a moonshine pie tastes just like apple pie. Yes. Like, if you ever take a trip to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, go okay. to the Old Smoky um, Moonshine Factory. Okay. And they will let you taste all type of moonshines that they make. Okay. But they have, like, a apple pie one, mm. like, s'mores, like, everything. Ooh, that's okay. Like it's actually Definitely kind of bucket like list. what it's supposed to taste like. Okay, bucket list for and me. And it'll get you, like, for sure. Like Have y'all been to Gatlinburg? I have no, not. No, I've been to Tennessee, but not Gatlinburg. I've been to Memphis. Gatlinburg yes, Memphis is amazing. Like you can go skiing. You can go. Any black person that um, I've met has said that. <laughs> you like for real, like Gatlinburg. Yeah, Gatlinburg. ATV riding, like horseback riding, like everything. It's a perfect mm -hmm. like vacation. Spot. Okay. And you can rent a to do something in different, the like yeah. in, in yes. the, I guess in yes. nature. You can rent a cabin with and I like that type up of in the mountains. Yes. And get fucked and you like you ugly. Fucked up on the balcony. <laughs> Off the moonshine cherry. Off the moonshine. Off the moonshine I can't that wait. Part. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so make, definitely <laughs> put Gatlinburg on your, um, your bucket list. list. Okay. Yes. For sure. Um, okay. Okay. So why don't you tell the people where they can follow you, girl? Like, oh, yeah, because y'all don't even know. Well, I mean, y'all do, but y'all might not. I don't know. <laughs> uh, underscore M-O-C-H-A-M-O-N-R-O-E, which is at underscore Mocha Monroe. Or go to the Antidote. They got me there. I do have a show at the Antidote called Express Your Thoughts with Mocha Monroe. You hear me? Awesome. We'd like to talk shit over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. <laughs> with smoke. Yeah. It's wow. Definitely. And wow. they really do express their thoughts. I do. It's a good episode. So make sure it's about to be lit. Next year, I'm coming a little bit harder. No filter, uncut, and I'm just going to be talking my shit. 2023. Period. That's why. So, wait, y'all better make sure you ladies have any New Year's resolutions? Um, Before we end let's up. see. My New Year's resolution every single year is to get in the shape. But uh, <laughs> stop. The shape is shaping. Every, I don't know every what she's talking year, about. Every, the shape is the shape shaping. Is, the shape is there for one. We don't one. know what she's talking about. But for two, for you to say every year, my <laughs> Well, I guess she means I getting start healthier. Off good. But the end, like it just kind of like yeah, it just go like burn. you plateau. Yeah, it happens. Well, maybe if you like find some accountability partners to get some motivation, or maybe like a, a gym I mean, like, fitness coach, he or a coach, me. definitely. Yeah. Or my, my man do a little fitness coaching if you want. Okay. All you gotta do is say what you are trying to work on, mm -hmm. and he will come up with a personalized I want plan. A big booty. Your ass is already big, T. I want, I want a big ass too. I big but I'm about to get my ass in the Mocha. gym. Mocha, <laughs> what are your New Year's resolutions? Okay, so for me, I'm crazy as fuck and I'm spiritual as fuck. Okay. So I believe in not making New Year resolutions because I believe that the New Year falls around Easter time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I got you. So it's a little different. Are you making resolutions around Easter time, or do um, you just kind of go with the flow of life? Is that what you're saying? Well, honestly, I just I feel like I don't. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. I don't. I don't ever vocalize anything that I want to come to fruition, mm. simply because I don't want any outside entities interfering, mm -hmm. any outside energy manipulating what I have going on, because motherfuckers will prey on you, Definitely. believe it or not, there are -E energy, yes, Definitely. not P-R-A-Y, not, not the good one, but the P-R-E-Y, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's like some wildlife shit out here, but I just feel like people do not mean you the best good, you know, or people don't expect you to be your best, or people mm -hmm. don't seek the same that you are seeking for yourself, so... Yeah. Like, my friend, she always used to do vision boards, and I know when she see this, she going to be like, that hoe was talking about me, but I don't give a fuck. It just is what it is. She, used to do, <laughs> she do vision boards every year for New Year's, but I've, I don't, I've never did it. Yeah. Simply because 
It don't matter who you love, or I don't know who I was talking to before, was Blaze or whoever he was. He's talking about, you know, your, your, like your family, the people that are closest to you could be the people that are just praying on your downfall. Mm -hmm. So I, when the new year comes and everybody wants to do this and do that, I'm going to make my pot of, you know, black eyed peas and do things the way I need to for my household. Yes. yes. But as for me setting plans in motion, Nothing. I'm going to, I'm in a stage where I'm basically life. like, I'm living life, but I'm giving back to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's the end of the year. It's, we're coming into a new year. My birthday is literally like in February, so it's right after the new year. So for me, I, I feel like my new year starts around my birthday. <laughs> okay. I feel that. No, that's not even I mean, like something to. Because it's a new year to me. To yeah. dismiss, because I feel you with yeah. that, you know? Like, what about you? You can always start over whenever you yeah. want. Yeah. Um, I think that this year will be more productive for me. Yes. Okay. You know, I'm really trying to we'll produce claim it. more. I am trying to be more, develop myself a little bit more, enjoy life a little bit more, enjoy God a little bit more. You know, yeah. I'm also... Um, really being on spirituality because I yeah. think that it can relate to every aspect of your life. Yeah. So I am praying that this new year is filled with blessings, everything yes. good, and, and maybe even be. a few lessons that I need mm -hmm. to learn. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So let's go. I'm just um, hoping that I can definitely become better than what I am now. You so, want to grow, yeah. period. That's growth. It. That's it. That's it. And I think sowing that's those seeds to grow. Yes. Yes. That's the most important part. It's probably like the, it's the, work. the, the uh, message of 2022 into 2023 <laughs> is like, <laughs> grow. Bro, you cannot grow. be in the same place as last year. Yes. What are you doing? Yeah. Let's not stay stagnant. 2023, <laughs> do something. Um, yes. Use your time yes. wisely. Yes. You know, I'm I'm learning still. I feel like I learn every day. So I'm learning to utilize my time Likewise. wisely. Yeah. I'm going to still get drunk and have fun in the meantime. <laughs> but but you know, follow your responsibilities. Sure. Yes. yes. And stay be true motivated. to yourself. Yeah. Stay motivated. Be true to yourself. Follow your passions. Your passions is what's going to get you paid. Yeah. Period. That's where yeah, we fine. at. <laughs> Yes. So, make sure you follow this. Wait, episode. I did the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got Drake. Yes. yes. I got Drake. 2023. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, make sure y'all tune in. Follow your host, XOXO underscore yes. you are truly. Underscore Mocha Monroe, M O C H A M O E R O E. And. It's your girl E at Cajun Mommy. Cajun mommy. So tune in, wow. follow the internet, follow <laughs> I Got Drink, like, subscribe, you All know, right. yes. follow, follow everything, us. support, yes. support, that's what we're doing in 2023, supporting, support, um, you know, support black babies. All things support, good. Yes. Supporting yes. all things good. Everything. Yes, because it's going to come back tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold, a millionfold, <laughs> period, blessings on blessings on blessings. And that's a wrap. Yes. And that's a wrap. Episode of 2020. Peace and love. Drink. I got drink. <laughs> Everybody loves my sunshine. Yes, man. And <laughs> that bitch pussy so good, you throw up in the air, turn it like sunshine. sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yes. All right. Woo.